sort of came here to a quiet part of the city, the little side street, because I want to talk to you something about an American photographer. There was an, I, I don't know his name, but he was an American photographer, and what he done was he took a speed light and he basically mounted it onto scaffolding. You can see the scaffolding there. And he mounted the speed light onto the scaffolding. And he basically photographed people as they went to work and this was in New York and the gentleman actually ended up getting sued by a Jewish man there was this Jewish man and the Jewish man said that it was against his religion or something to be photographed because I think the photographer put him on an exhibition or something in New York and all these people you know had seen it and the Jewish guy had seen it so the Jewish guy decided to sue him and you know American photographer he argued that he's going to be right to take photographs of this guy and I lads you're worth not talking to yourself you know yeah I know I know making making YouTube videos and yeah so the guy the photographer he argued in court that he has got every single right to photograph people in the public place and basically the court upheld in the favour of the photographer so the photographer did win the case and he did get to keep all the photographs and stuff like that but as you can see it's a little bit of a grey area with regards to street photography so what I'm going to do I'm just going to have a look at some parts of the street where we could actually do the same setup but I don't know if I'll actually take any photographs myself but let's have a look at some locations where we could install a speed light on the street with regards to street photography. As you can see, I've installed the speed light here on the railing and I'm underneath the scaffolding. So let's have a look at this. So basically, there we go. You can see people would walk through here and people would walk through there. And I could have a radio trigger on actual camera. And then people actually walk under it, the speed light, will illuminate them and basically you've now taken studio quality lighting outdoors onto the street which is in a way kind of pretty cool if you think about it so again what I could do is simply leave the speed light there okay take the camera and the radio trigger and just walk all the way down here okay turn around and then all I have to do is simply to wait for someone walk past that speed light and then I could just fire and get the photograph it is that I want it. Another thing what you could do with this lighting setup guys is you could take the speed light and you could install it up top and if you install it up top what you're doing is you're forcing your light down which means the shadows is going to hit the ground as well so that's another thing to bear in mind Right guys, the good news is I've been able to dial in the correct lighting settings to the speed light and I'm actually getting good exposures now under here but I'm just waiting to find that one person who I feel really comfortable with regards to taking a photograph of because I've got some people walking past here now and you know it's one of them you don't feel comfortable taking a photograph of them but when I hopefully I'm going to see the correct person and hopefully I will get that shot of him. But here's a test shot. Have a look at this test photograph of the speed light underneath the scaffolding. So as you can see, the speed light's working. It's just giving that correct person now to be photographed. As you can see, flash is still there. I've put a marker down here. See this marker? I put that marker on the floor and that's helping me children people are walking into the actual flash and I've taken a few photographs, so a few examples will be coming up now. I've had a few people, I've had two people ask me to delete the photographs, and I've deleted the photographs because, again, I don't particularly care about deleting photographs. 
fantastic now you see need photographs but anyway there's some uh, test shots of the speed light on the railings underneath the scaffolding I think I'm gonna call it a day now and just move on and go see what else is in the city but yeah that idea came from an American photographer so there you go guys